Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Ajawi TV. I'm Ajawi and for today, for today I'll be doing structural drawings. Now, under no, no circumstances am I recommending that um, people who are not engineers do structural reinforcement drawings or structural design. Um, based on my experience of working with an engineer or in an engineer's office for two years, you know, for certain size buildings, I will also take on the structural um, drawings for it. Now, this is rare. Um, the only time I do this is if the structure is really small and I see where my client, um, I wouldn't say cannot afford, but you know, is trying to save a little so that they can afford the 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 overall construction so it's like small structures i don't do engineering drawings for larger structures and if i am if i am contacted by an engineer to do structural engineering drawings that's the time that i do it right um but this particular design or this particular building is not that large it's just a first floor addition and it's very small right and the client actually, you know, I'm trying to save the client some money in this case. It's not really a big, big addition. So, you know, I kind of wanted to help out a little. Sometimes I try to, you know, make sure, ensure my clients are, are well taken care of. Well, I always make sure my clients are well taken care of. But in this instance, um, I did not necessarily insist on her getting an engineer involved because it's not, it's a pretty simple building, so I can do that myself. Understand? And it's way cheaper for her. All right, so let's get into this. Let's get into this design, into this drawing. All right. All my life I had to fight. I ain't taking no ill. I paid the price. Remember them day we had no life. Now I'm up 2K. I ain't talking no spikes. Just drop me an All right, guys. So I've already started this 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 um drawing. I did the foundation plan already, um, and I indicated where I want um, stiffeners um, to reinforce the building. Especially where I'm joining existing to new, so are new to existing, right? So at this position, you know, I'm adding, so I made sure that I tied the building together. So I, I break into the wall, the existing wall, and created a stiffener at that location. I put a stiffener at that location, which is a new addition, new part of the, of the structure. Um, I'm adding an upper floor, so I'm trying to send the load down so there's a beam above here and a beam above there right so this is the foundation plan and i'm pretty much done with this all i need now is the detail i show the width of the foundation and where i'm actually putting foundation and where I'm, where existing foundations are so i'm going to break into the existing foundation and splice new rebars onto existing rebars right so that's why you see this break and the existing existing foundation um, indicated so now i'm moving on to the actual slab reinforcement uh, on the upper floor um i'll add um stiffness as i go along but right now i'm trying to lay out the rebars so let's get into that right so these red red um bars they will be broken which are indicating over support bars right the, the solid line which is this one this is really the main and distribution bar which is in the, the bottom of the slab so the over support bars are in the top of the slab and the distribution and the main bar are in the bottom of the slab right so all right so i'm say i'm in this area for this the length of this bar to get this this is what i would normally do so for a simple support and non-simple support. So simple support, which is at this position, would be a quarter span, right? The bar should run a quarter span. So I do that. 
and say div enter select the line and then say four so i'm dividing the space into four right and that's four so i have it right there then i'm going to say length find length of this and put it in here now this is to help to save and steal so that once they're cutting and they're cutting bars within this area they don't need to be guessing how, what's the length of the bar they already know they can take up the drawings and look at the drawings and see exactly what length bar they need this will also help help the, the quantity surveyor because he will then look at it to say okay the total amount of bars he can add up add up and see how much tons of steel bar you will need um, and that will help to save time on the the structure the quantity to surveyors side all right so this is simple support here this is not simple supported right so I need to move this in line with this set of bars just for reading how, how the drawing will read right so I'm gonna say this is simple supported so I'm gonna say quarter so div enter I'm dividing this space by four to find the length and that length that bar will end about there so I extend it to that now this one side over here is not simply supported div enter so I'm gonna divide it by three so it's gonna have a longer span All right boom and that's how I find the length of that bar within this 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 slab right here right and then this bar I'm gonna show you how I put the how I indicate that the length of bar should travel the entire distance right now I'm gonna come down to here inside this space and I'm gonna place place my rebar now for the notations I try to find the best fit so I move them out of the way in most cases so I move that and say okay simple supported div enter for enter now this this will actually help help our client real it will really help the client why because they didn't have to really pay for this I did this for my client free of charge um, because I've already done the architectural drawing and they you know they're trying they're trying so I wanted to help out because sometimes for certain clients even though I know they want what they want and yes it will cost at the end of the day I try to try to look at the situation and you know use my discretion it's not all the while I do this by the way don't normally um, let us say give free service but the person was recommended by a friend of mine who I, who I really respect so um, I was just I'm just trying to you know be of help in that situation so like if you're if you're a part of the channel and you're 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 going to be doing drawings with me I'll normally try to you know treat you like family because you are family and I want to see the best for my followers so I'll try to use my discretion as it relates to my fees although you know we have to live at the end of the day so no free work around here. DIV and uh, four. So that's quarter span. Yes, that's correct length. Boom. Alright. Um, it's gonna change at this position up here. Length will change. So 
di v enter four enter so the length of the bar is going to change at this position still still quarter span right there's a basic principle quarter span and one third span and you should get it right right um don't need to show that door i just need to show the wall and where the wall is in relation to the these are walls below by the way these are the walls below that supporting the slab because i'm focusing on the slab now Let's get that there. Reverse. If we turn in the next direction. Yes. Move into place. And what I normally do is that I add the length as zero to every single bar so that once i'm going back through i'll then go back and calculate the entire length, the length of the bars i just do that one time um so that my process is a little bit more streamlined for so one so quarter right so it's more streamlined that way and it's easy to pick up for me so i don't add numbers to it because then i can mistakenly think that hey you know i actually added that number there and that's supposed to be there so i just add zeros because you you're not supposed to have zeros and even if even if you miss even if you miss a few of them the hi guys so at this point i'm going to share with you a product that um Will be a great gift to somebody who is, who is in architecture school or who is studying to become an architect or even an architect or technologist uh it's a great great tool it was bought for me by my friend and i really i was really appreciative of it right so this is my set of color my markers right a set of prisma color markers i think this is what this is uh 72 so i have 72 i have a set of 72 right and i have a set of um crayons as well so i'll show you that in a second so if you're looking to gift somebody who is in architecture school something you can't go wrong with this um it's very nice i'm going to i'm going to share a link below um where you can you know buy these so you know con consider it. gift a gift a brother gift a brother i i i love markers by the way so if anybody wants to give me you know, it would be great um just kidding anyways um yeah it's it's once i'm doing my designs or my drawings once i'm in school and i absolutely love them right so i love free and drawings and whenever i'm i am designing i utilize them you know which helps me a lot because it helps me to go through multiple options very fast all right all right so this is my set of prismacolor markers right so this is a set of 72 as well so prismacolor markers pick up one of these for somebody who is in architecture school or who is a technologist or somebody who designs it it would make a great gift the link is in the description below and if you buy through that link you will be supporting the channel the person on site will on will know that it's it's supposed to be calculated right so that's not a problem but if you have a number in it before you actually add the num add the calculated uh, length of the bar then the person on site is going to assume that hey these bars are supposed to be excellent so you don't want to add the zeros before you actually need to you don't want to add the length so you don't want what you don't want to do is have a length over here and then you copy this to move go over to here to then change to then calculate the length because you might miss you might get distracted and then you come back you see a number there so you think that hey i actually calculated that length so what i do is that i put zero 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 so when I come back now and I say length, 
right? I use the length and length and tool, length, right? And I see the length down here. The length of this bar will be two foot two and nine sixteen, right? And then I add 150, which is six inches for the bend. So this, this is a bend. So the bar come here and then go down in the slab. So when I put, when I put the two foot 11 now, I'm gonna convert that to metric, right? And, and place it in here. So let me just do that and show you. Let me get my calculator. Let me get my handy dandy calculator. So two foot nine, two times 300, times 300 plus two times 50, no, 25, right? Plus 150. So the length of this bar would be 800 and 800 but that, that that is as it is now right so let me just change the length make sure the length is correct so divide and then we say I divide this in a four right so the length is supposed to be somewhere down here right so I'm gonna extend this bar to here all right let's do that and do that again to get the accurate length so I say length length so it's supposed to be five feet so five times 300 plus two inches two times 25 plus 150 150 right so this bar length length of this bar in the slab is going to be 1700 millimeter right so then it's going to be spanning across this area so the person who is cutting will just cut a length of bar however much is supposed to be in this direction so when i'm going to place it i'm going to say um 12 millimeter diameter bars at 300 mm up, um cr crs which is saying at 300 millimeters each bar is supposed to be placed each there should be a 12 millimeter bar right so all right so i, I put that there now what i'm not going to do i'm not going to copy this to put somewhere else or like on this bar because say i get up now right i place that bar on it place it on this bar right say i get up now or somebody call me and i look away and i look back i'm seeing a number which means that um, chances are I might forget that hey I, I was going to change it so I take up a zero put it there so I know that that has not been changed I haven't calculated the length of that bar as yet it's just a trick that I use to you know streamline things a little bit better for me and it works Right, so you're already seeing where the bars are the bars are you know taking their respective positions all right so this is what your slab will look like once it is finished this is a different drawing that i have done right so you can see where the bar is supposed to be running so i have a 1125 millimeter length bar and it is it is a 12 millimeter diameter bar at 175 millimeter CRS and this is an over support bar right OSB means over support so from here to here I am running these these bars going across that way right so immediately you take up the drawing you know what the length of the bar is where it's spanning and what's the size of the bar which is a 12 millimeter and what's the, the distance apart <coughs> sorry distance apart that they are being spaced which is seven inches right so that's pretty much it this is how my my how i do my structural reinforcement drawings and i spoke about grids i'm gonna do redo that video 
So this is where my grids become very important. So say I'm on site and I need and somebody don't understand say hey or the engineer is calculating a set of bars and he realizes that hey the bars within this area he wants to change one of them. So he can be on his location, he can be in office and call somebody on site and say hey between grid two and three um and A and B I have some the main bar which is a 12 millimeter diameter bars at 7 inches apart um, change that to 8 inches apart within that same area the, the person on site will know exactly what's going on they don't need to say anything else right? don't need to say anything else so that's why I do my, my drawings like that and like the person that taught me, Mr. Barry Brown, God rest his soul, um, he, he made it very clear to me that, hey, when you do a drawing, the only thing the client is supposed to call the inside to say is, hey, thank you, or, you know, them finish. The, the contractor is supposed to call him every minute and tell him, say, I ask him one better question. That's not what, what, what the drawing is supposed to be. And he's saying, he basically he was saying to me, hey, a baby is supposed to take up a drawing and be able to read it. So, I guess he was trying to say, you know, make the drawing as simple as possible for people and reduce the amount of questions that people can possibly ask, right? Alright, so now that I have that, I'm going to start adding the, the spacing. indicator seven inches apart this is a pretty small building so this could work and not cause any problem right more support I'm gonna increase to 200 Yes, and then check it with an engineer. Move. Alright. So I place that there. This position as well. So I'm telling them where the bar is supposed to stop. Alright. I don't want it to be crowded, so I'm gonna move it over a little. Then I put my indicator that this is the bar that I'm selecting um, alright so on the other side the bar is going to stop this is an indication of where the bar is stop bar is going to stop 3 inches from the face of the wall or face of the belt beam alright so this is a belt beam below BB1 means belt beam type 1 So I've picked up that, this one needs to be picked up as well, so I'm going to select this and place it here. So now I'm picking up this and this bar. This is saying that the bar is within this space and this space is the same size and same spacing. Right? Boom. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. So, hi guys, so thanks for watching this video. This is just a, a small update as to what I am doing um, right now or which project I am on right now. I'm trying to finish this project to send off to this client. I've already finished my part already. I'm just doing, I'm just, you know, giving a little bonus because I would have asked her to, you know, seek the services of an engineer. Um, but, you know, her budget is tight at this point. <coughs> so i decided that i'm going to just help her to save a little money on this particular project and move from there the guy my guys are actually working on other stuff so it's not like i'm taking i'm killing another project just to do this or to help it's just that i want to help out so i decided to do so all right so thanks for watching thanks for liking thanks for sharing and i'll see you next time